Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm going to be showing another Windows 10 video and this is on a new feature with the Creators Update. So in case if you didn't have the Creators Update or don't have it yet, it will be coming out April 11, 2017. It will be started to roll out. But basically what I'm going to show you is a feature that allows you to lock your computer with your Bluetooth device. Uh, so as far as that goes, let's jump on in. So first things first, you obviously need to go into the settings and then go to the devices. Make sure the device, the uh, Bluetooth device is paired up. So make sure Bluetooth is on and add device being Bluetooth. So once it, you have the Bluetooth device paired up with it, go back and go to accounts and then go to sign in options. So from there, what you need to do is go down to the dynamic lock and uh, just allow this. Now, what happens once you allow that is 30 seconds after the Bluetooth device is not detected, it will lock the computer. That's simple. Now, the problem is, and, and this is fairly important, there's a few problems. First problem, and this is pretty important, is if you got multiple Bluetooth devices, like uh, some people might have something like a tablet and a phone or a phone and a Fitbit or something like that. And um, the problem is, is if you got multiple devices, then um, there's no way to say only use this one device. There's, there's no way of knowing, okay, if you take, if you paired it with your tablet and phone and you leave your tablet near your computer and, and take your phone, there's no way to know if it's looking for your phone or if it's looking for your, your tablet. Um, there's still testing into that and to figure out exactly how that works, so sorry about that. I've actually emailed Microsoft and asked about that, waited about a day or so, and um, I think about two days, and I haven't heard anything about that, anything back on that. So I, I don't think there's a way, uh, and as far as looking at the settings, I cannot find a way to to say, look for only this given device and nothing else. Um, so that's pretty important. Second problem, fairly important for for home users, not, not so much in an office. The second problem is fairly important. It is that when your device is discovered again, like say for example, you uh, walked away from your computer for, I don't know, 30 minutes or something and came back to it. Your computer does not auto log in. I wish there was a way to opt into this. Obviously, I would not have this op, uh, an opt out type of thing. I think that you would need to have the users opt into it. But the reason why, and, and yes, this this uh, does decrease the the uh, security on it. But let's get into this. You're waiting 30 seconds for the thing to lock. You walk away, and 30 seconds after the Bluetooth device is not detected anymore, it will lock it. That's a long time. That's a very long time. Second thing is is um, if if you're in a home environment, say for example, if you have kids or or guests or something like that, but if you have kids over and um, you uh, got to get up, go to the bathroom, or or do whatever outside or whatever it may be, so you walk away from the computer, but you're leaving it on because you got work and whatever, so you don't want the kids playing with your computer. Well, what you can do. Or, or what, what you should be able to do is once you're in range again, it will unlock and that way you, you know, you, because you're not worried about a hacker coming up and dealing with things because you're not worried about all these things because if a person has physical access to the actual device itself, you got bigger problems to worry about than actual, you know, cybersecurity. You're, you just simply don't want um, certain individuals on the computer in, um, you know, as long as you can see line of sight type of stuff where you say, hey, get off the computer or whatever it may be, that's good enough. Well, the thing is, is 
you have to log in each and every time. So that's problems into itself. Um, and and let, let, let's get this a little bit further, is if a person really wanted to screw you, as far as you walked away and um, and came back and whatever, what they can do is in that 30 seconds is upload a key locker or a uh, pin camera, a, a button camera somewhere. And um, they can see what you're typing as far as your password. And, and they can still, even with your phone not being detected or whatever, uh, the th you can still unlock it just fine. But, you know, you, you got a problem where you got other security measures that, that, that are there that, that are problems. So I just want to mention that. So just note that this is not like a foolproof security thing. I've, I've seen that this is something that's used more and more in workplaces. Um, and it's good for a workplace. So if, say, for example, you got uh, one of the biggest problems that you have with like manufacturer workers or or just any worker in general that doesn't understand IT is they tend to leave their computer on. Even some IT people, they tend to leave their computer on, walk away, and someone else, I've, I've seen it in my own eyes where someone else screws around with the computer and, and whatever, um, using a Bluetooth device where, oh, you're, you obviously would have your phone. Oh, I don't see the phone anymore. Or it's a weak signal. So therefore, the person must be away from the computer. So lock it automatically. Uh, that is more and more of a thing. So, so even if the user forgets to lock it, it auto locks it by itself. And having it where it, the user has to log on by himself is is a hundred percent fine, and understandable, and something that you want. But for home use, that's not a hundred percent fine. That's uh, that's very. It, it makes it makes it where the average person is not going to use it because they got to do extra steps. Like if they can just simply turn it on an opt-in, press a button, say, hey, unlock when you detect a device, then uh, great, you know, the, the person's probably going to use it, but I can pretty much guarantee you most people are not going to use it because they, they don't want to log in each and every time. They'll just leave their computer where, where it's unlocked all the time. Obviously, if, they, if they're already locking it, which most households, most computers in households don't do that, um, if they're already locking it, then fine, this would be great, but if uh, if they're not, then they, they just won't use it, won't use this feature at all, and you won't find much use into it. It's very important to understand this stuff, understand your clientele when you're developing this stuff, and it seems like they failed miserably on that, because most of their clientele is home users and not work users. But uh, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. I might, I might, I might take a look, see if I can make an application that will automatically unlock you. Um, but I don't know. That that would be a ways out since it's not priority. But um, as far as it goes, I figured that uh, this is worth a look and and so on. Again, all you have to do is simply make sure your device is paired and whatever, and and allow it. Again, I don't, I cannot find a single setting that allows you to. Um, that allows you to 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 select which device to look for. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty important because like you can have a Bluetooth keyboard and whatever, and theoretically you will use it, and you don't know oh your Bluetooth keyboard's hooked up. Well, you don't know if if uh, yes some some use some type of dongle or whatever, but there is some actual Bluetooth keyboards and mouse and stuff like that, and you don't know oh because it's there you don't know if it's it's, if it's screwed or not. Um, that's pretty important note <laughs> uh, because telling it to look for one device or or both devices whatever. So uh, um, someone picked up the Fitbit and whatever and left, uh, you know, you obviously don't want it to look at that or whatever. Well, not having that ability kind of sucks. So it, for me, I'm not going to use it. But anyway, as far as it goes, I know it's been a little bit rambling and whatever, but uh, if you've got any questions, anything else on this or anything else, then feel free to leave that down there in the comment section. Now I'll try and answer it and look at it as quickly as possible. Also, feel free to give me your thoughts on this. It, it, am I right as far as this won't be used in home environments or at least many home environments? Uh, or, or do you think it actually will be? 
And, uh, and as far as that goes, let me know what you want future videos to be on, and I'll see you next video. Hope you have a great day.